The political news within the GOP for Donald Trump has turned from bad to worse as two recent polls show support among Republican likely voters for the 2024 election has cratered. Today, the Wall Street Journal released a poll that showed in a hypothetical matchup between Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and the former president, DeSantis beats Trump 52 to 38 among likely GOP primary voters. And this comes on the heels of a Monday poll that USA Today released from Suffolk, Suffolk University showing that, quote, by two to one, uh, GOP and GOP-leaning voters now say they want Trump's policies but a different standard bearer to carry them. While 31 percent want the former president to run, 61 percent prefer some other Republican nominee who would continue the policies Trump has pursued. And who do these likely Republican voters have in mind? Two-thirds of Republicans and those inclined to vote Republican want Florida Governor Ron DeSantis to run for president. By double digits, 56 percent to 33 percent, they prefer DeSantis over Trump. This is a disaster for Trump. These are national polls. This is not isolated state polls, and it's not indications of DeSantis gaining ground on Trump, but DeSantis crushing Trump. The news cycle has not been kind to the former president since he announced his run for the White House in 2024. He's lost several legal rulings uh, surrounding the classified documents found at Mar-a-Lago, and a new independent special counsel was appointed to investigate various issues related to Mr. Trump. He privately dined with anti-Semite Kanye West and white supremacist Nick Fuentes at Mar-a-Lago, which led to bipartisan condemnation. And maybe most importantly, his record of hand-picking candidates in swing states was dismal, as they lost in the midterms a stunning 12 out of 14 times. Trump has held enormous influence over the GOP by threatening to primary Republican opponents or officials that went against him. And in some instances, like Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger, it worked. But the poor performance of high-profile candidates like Dr. Oz, Doug Mastriano, Blake Masters, Herschel Walker, show that he seems to have lost that touch. And it's not just in sports that the phrase winning is everything is relevant. What's also interesting is that in the past month, Trump has basically disappeared from the political arena. He's not held any rallies, made no appearances outside of Mar-a-Lago, and has pretty much only communicated to his base via social media. Now the 2024 election is still 23 months away. A lot can change over that time. But it could also change and go further against Trump. Look, I want to be careful here because many, many still believe Trump is far and away the likely GOP candidate. So let's check in now again with Republican fundraiser Noel Nickpour, who has raised campaign funds for Tom Cotton, Rudy Giuliani, Asa Hutchinson, uh, many others. Thanks for coming back on the show. Appreciate it. Thank you it. for having me. How big a deal are these polls? It's a huge deal because you've got to remember what Trump is based on. Trump is based on the word winning, and it looks like his new shtick is losing because he has lost in the midterms with Trump-backed candidates. He is losing in these polls against Ron DeSantis in a big way. These are not like five-point spreads here. These are 20 points, 10 points. This is huge, and this is going to affect more things other than his momentum. It's going to affect his ability to raise funds. Well, that's what I was going to ask you about, because that's your specialty, yeah, is fundraising. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so from a fundraising perspective, yeah. is this a huge problem for Trump? Big problem, because you know what? If you are a donor, small or large, you're going to look at these numbers. Why would you throw your money? Why would you invest, e even as a small donor, into something that looks like it's a losing effort? Why would you do that? You wouldn't. You would look like you would look at who would potentially win. And if Ron DeSantis does announce, which they are saying the rumor has it he would do it after the session, which would be around in May, mm -hmm. then God knows what is going to be the Republican landscape going forward. What do you make of the talk about Tim Scott? A lot of talk about Tim Scott possibly running. Absolutely love Tim Scott. He is a great guy. Uh, he also has South Carolina, which is very important. But Ron DeSantis, I really think, is the elephant in the room. Now, some had said, wouldn't it be a great pairing to have someone like Ron DeSantis, Florida, Tim Scott, South, South Carolina? Wouldn't that be a beautiful pairing right there? So a lot of people are strategically looking at presidential vice presidential, and I mean, that's what we do. Right after the midterms, what do we talk about? We go straight into 2024. <laughs> I need you to read some tea leaves for us because president, <laughs> the former president teased a big announcement for tomorrow on his uh, social media platform. Um,
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.